We all know innovation is really important, but what is innovation? Everyone has a different view. It's all about coming up with great ideas. Yes, that's true, but it's more than that. Ideas by themselves aren't worth anything. They need to be developed into something real, something tangible. And they need to deliver some kind of value to someone, otherwise what's the point? So it's all about ideas, how we get them, and what we do with them then. Let's say that innovation is the successful exploitation of new ideas to create value. And the value can take many forms. It may be financial or an improvement in the quality of life. But none of this happens in a vacuum or by magic, does it? No, there must be a whole ecosystem of people and processes that help along the way. Driving the idea life cycle to create ideas and develop them into something that delivers great value. And that value can make the world a better place for everyone. But where does this ecosystem come from? It takes great leadership, people who are bold enough to provide a fertile environment for ideas to grow. People with vision, people prepared to take a risk. It's about the ability to give people the freedom to innovate. So is there a problem with innovation? Well, yes there is. There's a lot of great innovation going on out there, but the world's changing and we need to change with it. There's a perception that innovation is getting harder. Hard times lead to a stronger perception of the risk around innovation and closes down vision. Many leaders become risk averse and retreat to the safety of current core business. Let's help innovation leaders be more agile and free them to break us out of this cycle. The time to innovate is now. How can we visualize all of this so we can better understand it? How about making it fun? Why not make a game out of it? A game about innovation and how it's central to success in today's world. Well, who would play such a game if there was one? Well, anyone interested in increasing the rate of innovation and success in their organization or who'd like to broaden their thinking about innovative behaviors. Like students or business leaders. Or anyone needing to do something new and different. And what would they learn if they played it? Well, they would understand that their innovation ecosystem needs to be populated by a variety of processes to be successful. They would also learn how they could visualize it and look for gaps or weaknesses. They would develop a structure and a common vocabulary to help with discussing and planning innovation. And they would see how the whole life cycle matters, how end-to-end -end thinking is needed, not just a process of coming up with new ideas. Yes, these ideas need to be developed and then helped to release and maximize their value. And that innovation must be part of the day job. How it is core to a business and not just an initiative to keep the creative people busy and not asking so many questions. They would also learn that they must keep thinking ahead and maintain a pipeline, innovating continuously to ensure that they don't suffer a slow, painful contraction of their business. And they might find out what happens if they're not open to new ways of doing things. The way things were done is probably not good enough anymore. Do they have the freedom to innovate in new ways, or are they stuck with the old? And most importantly, they would learn that there's no such thing as a free lunch. All too often, innovators are expected to magic something out of nothing. Lack of investment in resources leads to a sick ecosystem and poor innovation. There are no innovation fairies. Wow, they'd learn quite a lot then. How quickly would they gain these insights? Well, it would probably take a couple of hours for them to find their way around the game, and then they would understand how a viable ecosystem drives their success. And of course, the more they play, the more insights they will uncover. I think we should find out more about this game. Could be fun.